Hi riders, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Here is Pierre on the world and today I'm super excited because I will uh, show you my setup for my 1250 BMW 1250 that I use to ride to uh, Norcap. So if you're following me on Instagram, you probably know I uh, was on the road for uh, the last 43 days uh, traveling from Torino in Italy to Norcap, the very north northernmost point of Europe in Norway and then way back. So we crossed around uh, 11, 8, 11, I don't remember, borders. Uh, many countries to visit, many things to see. Uh, I'll, probably the biggest adventure of my life. And uh, today I just want to show you a bit more uh, about the setup and some of the lessons learned from this trip. So I would say let's start uh, from the front. I just want to show you a bit uh, more how the bike was set up here in the front. So, first of all, I would start from the choice of the tires. In this case, as you can see, these are fully on-road tires, the Dunlop Road Smart 4. Amazing on the asphalt, great grip, and super, super good in a wet condition. We uh, were driving with extreme rain a couple of times in Stockholm, in Copenhagen, really, really extreme condition, super wet asphalt, but still these tires did an amazing job. Of course, now, as you can see, they are fully flat in front, and of course, also on the back, you can see they are completely, <laughs> completely done like here it's super super flat you can you can really feel the, the the bump in between the central part and the rest of the tire it's normal we were uh, super packed two person and of course all the setup so it probably around 450 kilos okay um let's always move in front I wanted to show you uh, some of the things that I use to record uh, the videos. So in this case, you can see here a RAM mount for my uh, invisible stick of the Insta360 right here. So this one, you can extend it. Then you can put your camera right here. So it gives you a very nice perspective. Of course, I don't think it's super secure. So I use it the most in places where there were no cars at all. Um, so this for electronics and video and while here we have on the two sides attached to the um, uh, to the crash bar we have uh, these two six liters long rider bags mini bags so in this case let's open and let's see what's inside this one <coughs> mostly uh, repair kit stuff w wd40 tools and uh, the triangle in case of emergency so uh, it's mandatory most of the country we crossed uh, uh, Norway Sweden so super important to have it with you and to avoid any fines uh, on this side as well uh, water so super important to have uh, always water with you and accessible so you didn't need to open any type of uh, uh, box you just had it right in front of you and uh, this is from GB uh, and is attached as you can see on the crash bar as well uh, let's go on the opposite side same mini bags right here as you can see we have uh, a patch for the first aid right here so first aid kit uh, and uh, some additional things like uh, uh, protein bars, multivitamins, etc. etc. So, here we were keeping uh, all our stuff uh, for uh, in case of emergency. These long rider mini bags are fully waterproof, so uh, although we got a lot of water, no water entered inside these bags. Again, water also here, bottle. Now let's move it in front, so the cockpit, as I like to call it. I want to show you um, some of the technical uh, things. So here we have the Enrich Mini that I was actually holding on my, uh, if I can remove it, on my jacket here. So I had a space where I could uh, fix the uh, Enrich Mini and uh, it's linked to my uh, Garmin Solar. So I could actually send SOS messages directly from the um, from the watch 
super useful SOS feature everywhere you are on the world. Um, then we have uh, uh, the quad lock right here, the wireless head right here in front of us to attach and detach and charge my phone. Um, the Garmin XT Zumo here. And here we have the uh, 360 cam. I really like the way uh, the camera works from here. It gives a really nice perspective. Uh, and here the Django thing for the uh, uh, for the GoPro. So in this case, I was using the GoPro right here. I could just fix this one on my helmet, and uh, uh, it was super cool to you know attach it and detach it. So that's how um, it was set up right here. Let's take a quick look at what's inside uh, the tank pad. So let's start with uh, the cameras. In this case, uh, um, my Sony RX106 and filters included. And the filters polarized um, the air compressor for the tires. In case of any issue, I could just uh, inflate the tires on the go. Um, some seeds in case I wanted to do a quick snack. Then we had a small Swiss uh, knife, uh, uh, light lighter, masks for the COVID, <laughs> uh, battery for the uh, for the camera, the keys for all the side cases, wallet. Uh, uh, hand sanitizer, iPods, and lots of candies of every type. That's how it was set up. The GoPro uh, remote control right in front of me, so I can turn off, turn off the, the GoPro directly from here. I would just say that the tail pack, I made a review on uh, uh, YouTube recently, super handy because with this magnetic attach, it's super easy to uh, remove or to attach to the bike. So really, you do it in less than a minute. It's uh, very, very handy. Okay, um, in the front we say pretty much everything. Let's move here on the back of the bike. Let's start with the uh, back case. So, let's take a quick look of what's inside. First of all, this is a light, super helpful. In case it's night, you don't see very well. Uh, maybe we were doing camping, you don't see what's inside the, um, uh, the bag. And, this really was helpful. Uh, then we have the documents of the bike right here. We have uh, two Gore-Tex hats that we could wear when it was raining. The alarm disc clock, especially when you are in the city, always I always use it. Tripod for the camera for night uh, uh, shots. As you can see, it's very, very small. So I bought it on Amazon and uh, I really loved it. Super compact. Uh, and then uh, let's go again, I'll close it later. The drone Mavic Air, uh, Mavic Mini Pro 3. My diary, power bank, uh, some additional GoPro tools, batteries for the 360 and the GoPro, and some SDs. I, I uh, brought with me five SDs in total, uh, and then uh, my uh, laptop right here, uh, hard disk, and uh, lots of cables. In this case, as you can see, I have like four or five cables, and they are all attached to this uh, socket right here. So very easy, and uh, yeah, I also bought it from Amazon. Disney. Okay, um, that's what was inside uh, the bag luggage there was also a um, backpack inside with the food uh, like boiled eggs uh, dry risotto etc etc so everything was right here then moving to the other side the, this is the um, tent that we used to sleep we didn't do a lot of camping not as much as i wanted it was super super cold so um, we used it a couple of times but it was cool uh, it was uh, Super nice to camp in the middle of the nature in Sweden, in Denmark. So really, really recommended. Let's take a look inside at how we organized our uh, side cases. First of all, all the clothes were inside these uh, GV Storm bags. 
sometimes when it's raining uh, a lot, uh, you can get um, your uh, case wet inside. You don't want to get your <laughs> your clothes wet, so this one really comes handy. And then uh, that's how we secure our clothes. So in this case, you see these are plastic bags um, with, uh, let's say, um, yeah, I don't know how to call it, but anyway, with a thing here that you can remove the air from inside. So these allow you to um, save space, and this is actually the final result. How do you do that? With a pump. Just fix it here, remove the air, and then you can just uh, put uh, all your clothes inside uh, your bag. Very easily, actually. Uh, we had the three bags per person, so me and my wife, for a total of six bags. One pair of pants, like this one, uh, t-shirt, uh, underwear, and uh, a jacket, like this one. Everything was inside uh, the side bags, uh, together with the high visibility vest, uh, like this one, and uh, the, um, <laughs> the raincoat and the rain pants that we used a lot, especially on our way back. So everything was here, and the top uh, flip-flop, uh, and a pair of, a pair of uh, shoes like the one that I have, that I'm wearing right now. These one are Nike, Gore-Tex, uh, uh, super nice, so everything on top, uh, and then you could just close. I tend to use also the uh, light, uh, the Long Rider ones, the, the cases from Long Rider, but in this case we prefer the hard one just because we were going on cities, we were doing some, um, some side seating, so if you're in the city, I tend to prefer this one. Same uh, goes for my side, so in this case, uh, same type of uh, setup about the clothes. Um, what's different here is that from this side, we had all the camping gear. So let's go ahead and let's open here to see what do we have. So this is a bag from Long Rider, the duffel bag. I really, really love it, uh, um, waterproof. Uh, uh, we again like the mini bags we got a lot of water on our way back but uh, everything was um, was okay inside so it was dry in this side we have uh, the kitchen so the camping gas uh, uh, with the stove an additional light uh, for the night then we have the two sleeping mat right here the two sleeping bags right here, pan pots, all the set for two, the soap that we use to wash our clothes in the laundries, like uh, coin laundries, it's very nice because like it's um, super easy to carry, as you can see I like like uh, paper, kind of, uh, but they didn't do any bubbles, so I don't know actually if if, if they worked or not. Um, a super cool product from C2 Summit uh, to wash your, uh, you know, all your uh, camping gear after you use it for cook. Then here we have uh, soap, uh, eco soap, and a sponge to wash our dishes. Uh, sleeping uh, pillows right here eco bags to clean your garbage after camping some um, uh, cleaning uh, um, towels right here and uh, that's pretty much it what we have inside the bag so this was all inside here and this was all our uh, stuff that we were going to use every time we were going to camp so as you can see very very um, organized <laughs> one last thing that i wanted to show you is right here in this small uh, toolbox that we have so let's take a look at what's inside we have the chain to secure the helmets when we are for example in the city we want to leave the helmets on the bike i bought it on amazon i think 20 euro and I think it's really nice because the chain doesn't really touch the helmet. Uh, there is this type of uh, cover, so it doesn't uh, 
scratch you know your your helmet in any way then we have uh, the um this one is the yeah visor and helmet cleaner from bmw lots of mosquitoes so it was really useful then we have the tubeless uh, repair kit tubeless tire from gv and then we have the tube that in case of need uh, we could uh, pour the gasoline that we have inside this uh, uh, tank a small 2.5 liters tank into our bike tank that's pretty much how the bike was set up um, to be honest with you i don't think i would change anything because uh, i think it was uh, it was a pretty good setup i think uh, lucky is saying okay <laughs> he likes the stuff as well um let me know what do you think about the current setup that i used uh, 43 days on the road the two people um maybe one of the things that uh, i could say is that we suffer a bit uh, um the cold especially at night when we were camping so maybe having uh, something more uh, to wear would, would have been uh, nice but again the, the the space was very tight so Anyway, let me know what you think. If uh, you found this uh, video helpful uh, or interesting, thumbs up and subscribe. And uh, in case you have any additional comment or suggestion for me, please uh, write in on the comment. I hope you enjoyed and see you on the next video. Ciao.